Howdy doody everybody, my name is Kev Gooey and welcome back to Mob Love Alternative. Not me. Heh heh heh, this manual is just as much of a brick as I remember it being. I did manage to get it all down somehow though. Well, I'm sure a lot of it's just a matter of learning through practice. <laughs> Y'all think I don't know about your little scheme? Well, think again. Listen up, guys. Oh, you're going down, class rat. Prepare thyself, Maya. Time to wipe that smirk off your face, Ayamine. Sucks to be you, Tama. You knew this was coming, right, Makoto? I don't know what any of this, but prepare thyself, Maya. No, uh, I think Maya looks like she could use a little extra nourishment today. Nakoda, why don't you help me escort her down to the PX? <sighs> Mama, could you be a lamb and fetch Maya's meal for her? Oh, and be sure to tell Mrs. Kyozuka to supersize it. <clears throat> and you two, don't just stand there. Help us lead our dear friend to the PX. I'd imagine you probably already know deep down. Oh, come on now. You know I'd never do that. Ain't that right, Tama? <laughs> oh, how nice. Such a beautiful display of camaraderie. Yes? Two full trays worth at least. Vamanos! You didn't. What? Why'd you say let's go when, when it says Vamanos? Oh, okay. I like this. I didn't know that was gonna happen. Okay, I. We, we really. Fast traveled, huh? Yeah, we really fast traveled because this was. We met in the hallway, that's all I remember. Hmm, how can I put this delicately? Seeing everyone standing around all embarrassed like this really does make them look like total newbies. I'm already used to it after last time, of course. That said, it's a little sad that I can't relive that same rush I felt the first time I saw them in those suits. <laughs> Oh, 
Under, I wonder if I'll have a higher aptitude ranking this time. I remember having a total breakdown last time when I saw that beta silhouette. God, I was such a wuss. That won't happen again. Because I, you know, didn't fall down crying during that alarm. I've never been in been in actual combat against a beta, or at least not as far as I can remember, but I'm still a full-blown surface pilot. Things will be different this time. Oh yeah, we didn't do that uh, class thing either. Wow, oh, we, we, wow, we're skipping a lot. A lot. Dude, I mean it. I seriously didn't feel a thing. Oh, right, and you aren't. You know, TSFs have the benefit of cockpit control systems that adapt to accumulated feedback data, so the pilots barely even notice the shaking after a while. But they can also do some insane multi dimensional maneuvers that produce much higher G forces than the simulators can replicate. Moves like that cause so much turbulence that our feedback system can't do anything about it. Getting jerked around a little like this doesn't begin to compare. Now that I've gotten used to the real thing, these simulators feel more like massage chairs than anything. I mean, didn't last time we like fell asleep? Oh yeah. I mean, it's really, it really is nothing like the real thing, it's just a simulation after all. Give me a break, you guys. Huh, so they really fast forward a lot of stuff. And what are we looking at? Oh, this is different. This is different. This is totally different. I don't remember this at all. Is this Sumaka? <sighs> Sumaka is definitely the brain. I'm still calling that out. Sumaka is definitely the brain. Santa doll. Santa Usagi da. Santa san ga oshiete kureta anda. Hondo? Hanta. Hondo ni hondo? Ja, kore motteru to, mada Santa san kite kureru? Sore wa kuru. Aww.
サンタさん来ないのとシールで我慢するのとどっちがいい来ないのやだよしなら先に帰るぞサンタさんにお願いしておくからなえだからお前もすぐ帰ってこいよいつまでも泣いてちゃダメだ弱虫になるんだからなアビダータメシニトユコトビアナザーズプリティーはずにバトルスチュー。After getting commissioned in the previous world, my Yakishin's cockpit unit was updated to be about the same as the Fubuki's. However, the TSFs themselves handle very differently. I've been using a Yakishin for a lot longer, so it's no big surprise that I'd be uncomfortable in a Fubuki simulator, but I didn't realize it would respond to my commands quite this differently. And again, I guess that kind of awkwardness will help to cover up how much experience I actually have. That's right, Shirogane's being our all time record by Factor 5. Bowser's. Motiron Kyoshu Karikiram no Kaizen ya, Simulator Sarel Kitai no Se no Kojo mo, Kirok Koshin no Oki na Yoso da noba. Of course, I'm sure it's also due in large part to the revised training curriculum and increased specs for the simulated TSFs. The previous record was 5 days, huh? That's longer than I would have expected. I guess that means everyone else on our team was pretty exceptional too. I mean, it only took them two or three days to get to this level themselves. They started by imitating me, then they used that to improve their own techniques. Not to get too full of myself here, but doesn't that mean I'm the reason they all excelled so quickly? And if that's the case, Then shouldn't they be able to master even faster this time? That means that we'll be able to graduate even sooner, right?
Harry san, you really are something else. Huh? Uh, oh, thanks. Can you beat the all time factor by a factor of five? Oh, yeah. On second thought, maybe I kind of overdid it. Where'd you learn to move, move like that? Hey, <laughs> you wanna know? You really wanna know? Well, it's probably just pure talent. No matter how talented you are sailing through course D that fast just isn't normal. And I guess I'm just not normal. You can say that again. Not sure I like your tone, young lady. God, don't look at me like I'm some sort of freak. Takeru, are you sure you've never been conscripted before? Huh? I mean, I know you you said you did like a ton of independent training and studying and stuff, but you're still way better than just an amateur enthusiast. No way you got this good on your own. Enough, Yaroi. Whether he has military experience or not, such things are possible when one has an experienced instructor. Right, we you really don't need to pry so much. There's a secret base called Area 51 in the American state of Nevada, and the UN military is working on a top secret project there. Area 51. It's called the Super Elite Soldier Project, or the SESP for short. I'm the ninth of the Super Elite to come from there, SES 009. SES 009? Yes, SES 009. That's right, I'm the last member of the 00 series. That's why you excel at everything? Yeah, that's right. Better get to lunch. What? Right, I need to go retrieve those logs. Yes, we need to clean as much as we can from them before 1500. Hey, come on, you guys. No time for a leisurely lunch today, that's for sure. Well, that was a total bust. Guess that trick's not gonna work without an otherworldly piece of technology like the game guy. Well, whatever. Yeah, no problem. Oh. Better not be implying what I think you are. You know what? Forget it. That's what I'm doing. Guessing you want in too, are you, Mine? What's that out? What are you talking? What are you even talking about? All right, fine. Guess I could teach you guys one of my signature moves if you really insist. What? Come on, why not? I'm gonna end the episode here today, everybody. Woo! Alright, so... He, uh... Did it. He got through that baby super fast, and now we're on to the next thing. Oh, this is so awesome, this is exciting. Woo! 
hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you guys did, then please slime that like button and subscribe down below for more awesome videos. Thank you everybody for watching this episode and you will hear me in the next one. Goodbye!